Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. We are back for part 127 of our Skylanders Giants blind playthrough. Uh, 126, we actually took our, uh, you know, blind playthrough Tree Rex, uh, upgraded him completely. He had absolutely nothing. Took him down Tree Folk Charger. Uh, we'll go ahead. This is what Tree Folk Charger path looks like. Again, I was oblivious to the fact he got the shoulder pads and everything. Uh, basically, you know what it does, essentially, you can charge longer and faster, uh, it does maximum damage, and then you can do the elbow drop, which you see there, so, uh, nothing too crazy, but what we're gonna do now, I'll pull him, put on the second Tree Rex, which came from the 3DS starter pack, again, I have already purchase the base upgrades for him and the soul gem so again what you're seeing right here is the tree fold charger tree rex we're going to get him off and uh, here comes the 3ds starter pack version Be of the pack. again there's basically his box stock looking for him, if you will uh, <clears throat> What do you need, I think, to buy just the base upgrades? I'm sorry, not the base, but like the upgrade path, the three. I think you need 4,140, so we've got that covered. Uh, again, you know the base and the secondary moves now. We're just kind of going to focus on the other stuff. But I guess to do that, we'll actually just come in here. There's a look at, uh, you know, another good look at him in the woodpecker. Uh, what he has right now, primary attack shockwave slam, secondary attack sequoia stampede, uh, photosynthesis cannon is his first, you know, upgrade, uh, big thorn shockwave slam is his second, third is super stampede, fourth is the tree full triple shot. Now you get to the part where you pick a path. What we did with the tree wrecks you just saw was tree full charger, that is the top path. We've got the titanic elbow drop, light footed, and ultimate stampede then of course soul gym is woodpecker pal but uh, what we're gonna focus on this time around is lumbering laserer that's going to be the bottom path it addresses the uh, tertiary attack which is photosynthesis cannon it begins with supercharged vaporizer hold Z to charge up the photosynthesis cannon for more damage then we get sun skewer photosynthesis cannon blasts through enemies and explodes for more damage and lastly, we've got the pod maker. Vaporized enemies turn into exploding plant pods. So, uh, like I said, you know, I'd make this one a little shorter for you. Uh, again, if you're more interested in, like, the in-depth detail type thing, check out the other video, uh, part 126. We kind of cover everything there. We'll come in here, see Persephone. There she is. You know what she says? We're going to upgrade uh, like I said, when I got the base upgrades and Soul Gym for this Tree Rex, uh, this has dropped a crud ton of frames. Um, I just went ahead and backed out, that way I don't get locked into anything. Uh, if you were to inadvertently select Tree Folk Charger right here by pressing A, uh, you're stuck with it. The only way to, you know, get to the other path is to reset the character. Obviously, if you've completed a bunch of heroics, you're at level 15, you have a bunch of money or something, you don't want that to happen. So if you're unsure here, press the B button. If you know what you want to do, press A. There is a cutscene, it's pointless, I don't know why. Uh, you know, it's not horrible, I guess. But uh, We're going to take this one down, Lumbering Laser, again. Common sense would tell me to pick Tree Folk Charger, just because it addresses, you know, kind of two things with the addition of the elbow drop, I'll consider that kind of like primary, and then you get the speed, which is a big thing for me. Really, I would have liked to have seen that path uh, incorporate maximum damage, which is the third upgrade, in with the second one, light-footed, you know, which basically you just move quicker. Uh, then I think it would have been superior, but at the same time, even if that were the case, I would still think this path looked like it would be cooler and more fun. Uh, kind of like swarm form. I'm really regretting not having two swarms, but at the same time, I don't want to spend 15 bucks for another one. Uh, they haven't been on sale, you know, since I recorded that. But uh, we're going to come in here and do one laser. Again, I do like the green, but I mean, to me, that cutscene is just pointless. It just locks you into a path. It seems like that wouldn't require 
such a production. Uh, okay, so I guess one is tied in. Uh, there's only two upgrades here, so I guess one hinges on you having something here. Supercharged Vaporizer, hold Z to charge up the Photosynthesis Cannon for more damage. Cost is 1020. We'll go ahead and pick Okay, let's see here if we can... I really can't turn him around. There's a good angle. Yeah, that was the wrong button. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we'll see what happens here. There he is. You just tap Z, he gets the triple shot off. Now if you hold it... Okay, that's nothing I'm controlling. I just hold Z, and as I've held it too long, I guess... He kind of recoils from the laser. Uh, so, pretty neat, I guess. Hopefully it does a lot of damage. Next up, which this is probably the neatest sounding one to me, is Sun Skewer. Photosynthesis Cannon blasts through enemies and explodes for more damage cost. As you can see when we got that last upgrade, the final became available. Sadly, you know, I can't showcase this because we're Okay. He's talking a lot of smack tonight. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, our final upgrade here down the lumbering laser path is the pod maker. Vaporized enemies turn into exploding plant pods. I think this will be cool too. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things you kind of have to see. Okay, so he looks like he got like a soup can cap on it. Wow. Alright, so what's weird about all this is like that doesn't do anything to the armor. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he'd have increased armor from this or the shoulder pads or something. Uh, personally, I'm, I just really like the way he looked naturally, but... Uh, I guess if I had to pick, I would take this metallic armor look over the, uh, like, rag sock underwear thing and shoulder pads. Um, I guess there's, like, moss, I don't know, there's, like, fall foliage festival or something, that's kind of what it looks like. Triple F, I don't know. Uh, reminds me of Triple H, but, uh, no, I mean, it's kind of a neat touch, I just wish there was, like, an explanation with it. Or armor would be even better. Um, nonetheless, let's see what we've got here. This is his uh, base attack, just pressing the A button. If you hold it, you do the super slam. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the B button, again, we did not upgrade uh, his charge attack here. It's just got the base, too. Uh, almost covers the deck of the ship. You know, that's not great, but it's not horrible. Uh, then, the photosynthesis cannon, that's what we addressed. That is the base addition there, if you will, just triple shot, base upgrades. Then if you come in and you actually hold it, it will recoil a bit. Uh, and everything else with him, we kind of would have to have enemies to appreciate or enjoy. Let's take a look here. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, that did nothing for armor. Uh, it's really kind of sad. But, uh, again, he's a little slower. I haven't done all the heroics with him. I think I just did, like, uh, probably Drobot's uh, Double Trouble Zap in all likelihood. Uh, we've got... This is not even at the 10-minute mark yet. Um... Now, I ordinarily don't do this stuff, but I think we're going to toss in some bonus content here. Number one, uh, when I've been having to get money from people, uh, I've really wanted the second wheel. I have it in my hard file. Uh, well, hello, hello. Got to do a little shopping. Yeah, I think we have enough money. Let's yeah, we just save Skylines just and everything. See what I guess items I have for you today. I don't think I have the wheel on this one. 
Okay, yeah, Luckotron bulb number two. Uh, become luckier with this extra Luckotron bulb for the Luckotron. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up. It's 200. We've got 335. Uh, just got some other crud here, but I mean that's the most important one. We're just gonna take it. It, it actually does. I've noticed when I played the hard file. Uh, it kind of makes that little pop noise, and you get like the red exclamation when you find extra special money. Uh, which, granted, now it's so late in the game that I'm doing the upgrades, it's not a big deal, but I still need a lot of money for all these Series 2 guys and gals, so, you know, it'll hopefully come in handy there, but I'm gonna buy it now. There's Eon's glorious head. We're going to back out of here. Uh, actually, gonna go ahead and put that on. this way. Press the C button. So we put that on and now you can basically pick a wheel. You know, you've got uh, we have this one set to wealth. You can do health, wealth, and power as you can see. We've got all the wheels. Uh, this one's just not here because it's equipped. We're going to equip another wealth wheel. Oh, on this bulb I guess that would make more sense, wouldn't it? So, now we have the two of them there. Uh, as you can see, wealth, each lucky wheel of wealth increases the chance to find bonus treasures. With just the two of them, it's nothing crazy, but I mean it does make a little bit of a difference. So, we'll uh, be content with that. That's a funky camera angle. I still wish you could play darts too. Uh, a nice little touch. I guess it would be kind of hard with the uh, Wii mode and the nunchuck. Anyway. Let's just go ahead and do this. I mean, I've got a little bit of time. I'll just do the first one. It's probably going to drop a bunch of frames. But what I'm going to try to do uh, yeah. is we use the cannon as much as possible so we can enjoy it. And uh, Let's just skip that. All right, let's do this thing. Mm -hmm. Here comes the first wave. Again, just this mainly I had time since... Uh, <clears throat> so I already had so two, much of the upgrade and I covered all the details. Get in there and fight! This will give you a better look. Bring it on! I need like there's some money to watch. I can ride the toys up and I'm not seeing them turn into me. Uh, so that seems to do 12 to 16 damage. There's one of the flags. Fine. There's no time to celebrate. Here comes the next one. This is also a good one. Okay, so the woodpecker's been doing something too, like this had been seen Check out this troll in the crowd. Don't be so proud of yourself! We just want it out here! Oh, you're oh, gonna love it! Next day! I'm gonna try to vaporize that stump. Oh, that was a hundred. A hundred and fifty. That is insane. Good work. Well, I mean, granted, you can just walk on these stupid chunks. Check out that flame rock handle. Okay, wait, I should probably kill him. He does some pretty impressive things. Let's see what this does. I'm just gonna go toe to toe with this. Wow. You know how tough the stump demons are, and he took him out in two rounds. It's pretty impressive. 
It looks like 28 on that, 44 on the charger. Uh, I've seen 12 and 16 on the standard. It's really hard for me to watch that woodpeck. I like see him come back, but I haven't exactly seen what he does. Okay, so. The main thing I got from that is the uh, charged cannon does 100 to 150, and that is awesome. So, pretty happy there. Uh, We'd actually have time to do this Treefold Charger Tree Rex in the same challenge. You but, keep uh, winning, kid. I kind of want to be crap in no time. It's 3:30. I probably shouldn't record anything, but uh, I don't know. I will say that I mean I'm the next up is obviously Magic. That would be Ninjini. I said I was going to do Ninjini down one, Scarlet down the other. Scarlet, uh, as you know, if you follow the blog. She will be available the 19th at Target, however, uh, GameStop's date's the 14th, but there's already people that got her at GameStop today, or I guess yesterday, uh, Thursday the 9th, if you will, so uh, probably shipped out of uh, Grapevine, I guess, to the stores closest to it, like one day transit, if you will. So she is here in the U.S., uh, readily, I guess not readily, you know, stalked. So. The hunt continues, I suppose. I do have really big news, but uh, I'm not sure if I can talk about it. I have to kind of investigate that. Uh, anyway, like I said, the uh, photosynthesis cannon there in the battle, 100, 150, and the uh, Brock stuff there, that is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, well, let me go ahead, I'll just stand right here so I can demonstrate how powerful this is just, you know, base upgrade on the smash is. I mean, it took out every barrel, I mean, within a pretty good radius of, again, 44 damage to charge that up. I'm gonna try now, I'm gonna aim this way. For some reason, I keep thinking the cannon should be green and the charge should be Z. Yeah, that vaporized that creep. Yeah. Uh, pretty good accuracy. I mean, I kind of didn't know how that would pan out, but it's pretty uh, Yeah, I can't complain, really. So that is it. That is uh, Tree Folk. This is the Lumbering Laser Path. We had a little more time to play with it. Uh, since we'd done the base upgrades in Soul Gym. Again, the Woodpecker, I saw him, you know, fly back to us and everything. I just, it was hard to keep tabs of where he'd been or what he was doing. Uh, probably once we get into story mode, we can kind of see more what he does and appreciate it. But, uh, I have to say, while that path, I mean, really, in my opinion, you need to charge it up, uh, and if you do that, it's it's an incredible path, really. I mean, you got 150 damage. I don't know how you can say anything bad about that. You know, uh, that said, Tree Folk Charger, you get the increased speed, maximum damage on that, and and the elbow drop, which I think is going to do some insane damage. I don't know if we're talking 100 or 150, but you know, personally, I'm hoping we see something. You know, like 45, 60 ish would be nice, if not more. Uh, so really, in all honesty, it looks like both of his paths are uh, pretty solid. Uh, it's 3.34 a.m. now. I don't know if I want to record Ninjini or wait on Scarlet. Uh, initially, I was thinking that I would record Tree Rex and Ninjini, and then both bouncers, you know, regular and legendary. Uh, I may save that for another time. I kind of need some sleep, you know, plus, if I can land Scarlet or get her, uh, again, that kind of ties into what I don't know if I can talk about yet, um, I'd be able to record them in order, uh, I initially thought I'd take Scarlet down Swords of Might, that's like slaughtering 
ancient Dijin, ma Jin magic, whatever you pronounce that as. Uh, or at least it was last time. It was like huge, huge, huge margin in the poll. Uh, I was thinking I'd take Scarlet down the sword path. Um, as I was thinking about it when I was upgrading uh, or getting the cash for our second tree rex. I was thinking I might just take regular Ninjini down that path and then let Scarlet do the other one. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably figure it out and spend too much time thinking about it. But uh, Nonetheless, basically, next thing I record will be Ninjini. Uh, if I get Scarlet, it'll be Ninjini and then Scarlet down the other path. Uh, which, if I do, you'll see the unboxing first anyway, I'm sure. Then... Uh, I'm really excited about Bouncer. Uh, box stock, he may be the best guy, uh, you know, giant that there is, in my opinion. Again, that's box stock, and I want people to freak out. But just in terms of if you brand new to the series and said, "Hey, I have fifteen dollars for one giant. Which one should I get?" You know, I'm, you know, just gonna play through. It'd be hard not to recommend Bouncer, you know, just because he can get in the game and just completely decimate the screen. Uh, well, I guess we'll talk more about that when we upgrade him. Uh, back and Eyebrow, those are two I'd really like to have extras of, but again, I don't want to spend 30 bucks to do it, you know, so maybe if it's buy one, get one, I, I could swing that. Free, not a percentage off, but like buy one, get one free, you know. Like maybe uh, in the fall, right before Swap Force comes out or something, maybe I can catch that. Uh, or if they came out, you know, with like a more readily available, you know, variant, if you will. But I don't see that really happening. Although a glow in the dark eyebrow would have been pretty freaking awesome. Got to admit that. Uh, nonetheless, you know, like I said, both of these tree rexes. Uh, I don't know if you could go wrong with either path. I guess just whatever you think looks cool and and or suits your play style. And uh, just know that, you know, that's not too bad of a path. But I'm starting to ramble. I'm getting pretty tired. It's 3.30, whatever, in the morning. I think we're going to end this one here. But again, uh, next time we're back, I guess 128 will probably be uh, Ninjini. Maybe we'll get Scarlet in there if we get lucky. But... Uh, Again, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. Uh, of course, for all the latest, your best bet is the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. Be sure to check out the polls. Uh, currently, we've got the Upgrade Paths, Giants and Newlanders. We've got the Castaways versus Newlanders poll battles. All sorts of cool stuff and information. So check that out if you haven't. Again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here next time.